in the Sagittal Hip Disassociation Strength Series, level five, you're now going to be tossing the ball from one hand to the other, going into that next eccentric action. So let's break this down. Awesome, go ahead and pause for me, buddy. So we're gonna stand on one leg, and that one leg is with the foot perfectly straight, no excessive pronation, supination, patella tendon in line with second and third toe, acetabulum in line with patella tendon. By now you know the story of all that's going on there or you wouldn't have progressed the level five. Pelvis, neutral positioning, no posterior tilt, no anterior tilt, neutral, right? Perfectly neutral, spine upright. Even when you're bending over, that spine stays extended, right? It's not flexing. So then the thoracic spine being extended is very important. Middle of the ear in line with the middle of the shoulder. So let's not toss the ball yet. Let's just go quickly or controlled, but quickly through the motion. So the hand is straight out. You're gonna reach down towards the little toe after and then reach. First thing you're gonna do in coming into concentric action is lifting the arm. Come up into end range concentric action. Jump and toss the ball to the other side. Come back up. Jump, toss the ball to the other side. And as you're going down, that arm's coming down. Good, continue. You're reaching towards the little toe, coming back up and continuing. Now here's the hard part. In, rest for a second. So here's the hard part. Here's the amazing aspect of this exercise. First of all, you're learning to disassociate your hips. You're learning how to use the hip separate from the pelvis or while keeping the pelvis aligned, while keeping the lumbar spine aligned, that makes you very, very athletic. And by adding this ball toss, think about when you lift like a heavy weight or you have to do like a heavy Olympic lift. It takes a tremendous amount of neural drive and neural focused effort. Well, this exercise requires the same amount of neural effort except for it's not as abusive to the body. It won't recruit the fast twitch muscle fibers as much as a heavy weight training, but you'll get that neural drive and athleticism that which is so effective to having a highly functioning body. So here's how we're gonna do this. In the end range of that concentric action, you're gonna to toss the ball and jump onto that other side while you keep the pelvis level. So let's do that one more time. So keeping the pelvis level, right? You're gonna come up, jump, toss the ball right into that next motion. Keeping the pelvis level, jump up, toss the ball right into that next motion. And that's how you're gonna do sagittal hip disassociation strength series level five.